The Spare Man by Mary Robinette Cole. On an advanced spacecraft to Mars, there is a murder, and a woman on her honeymoon has to get to the bottom of it because her husband is the one arrested for the crime. Here's an interesting question about this book. Is it science fiction? It does take place in a spaceship, and there's a lot of scientific elements, like different gravities uh, on different levels, um, drinks that can be printed, uh, a delay from Earth to the ship. The elements are there, and yet, at the center of this story, it really could just take place on the Titanic. I don't hold this against this particular book, but I think it's an interesting question. Now here's what I do hold against this book. The hook didn't draw me in. The murder happens so quickly in the beginning that you don't know anything about it. Uh, I think, and I think the fun of books like this is you're placed in an interesting situation and you know that someone's going to get murdered. You don't know who, but you're kind of getting to know the cast of characters and who knows who. Someone's murdered when the lights go out or whatever, and then the fun is trying to piece the clues together. What happened leading up to the murder? Who had the motive? And you get to dissect it. The problem with this book is when you start off with a murder, it's not much of a hook to say somebody murdered somebody. But to the book's credit, it did get better as it rolled along, as I got to know the characters more. Uh, I think the best character, actually, I know the best character, was uh, the lawyer back on Earth. That was the highlight of the book for me because she's just such an interesting personality uh, as like, the main character is trying to talk through all these legal things uh, and meanwhile there's a lag time that gets longer and longer as the book goes along because the spacecraft's getting farther away from the earth. It's actually pretty funny. I, I give her full points for, for that. I thought the ending was adequate, uh, but I was hoping for something a little more fulfilling. I like when you realize what happened and then there's like a chain reaction of all these clues were, that were spread out. They come together to weave this, this interesting final conclusion of how everything really went down. And I sort of got that in this book, but it would have been better if more there were more intertwining clues. I did like that these chapters opened with drink recipes. Uh, as like a way to draw you into the atmosphere of being on this fancy cruise ship, basically. Uh, I think there's an interesting phenomenon in marketing where you put cup holders on everything so that when, if you're wondering whether you should buy something, you see it with a cup holder and you imagine yourself drinking it and it just makes, yeah, it gives you, it gives you an attachment to this thing, whatever it is, because you imagine that you're drinking something while using it, whether it's a lawnmower or a boat or whatever. And I think what we see here with the chapter headings is basically the literary equivalent of putting cup holders on things. Like, you read these recipes and it kind of, div you picture yourself drinking it and it just makes the book feel more comfortable. It's a clever little strategy. I, uh, I approve. Overall, though, I can't give this book a solid endorsement because the ending was adequate. And in books like this, the ending is everything. So I'll give it a modest three stars.